What's happening guys? <coughs> it is Saturday and we're going to get this bumper cover here for the 2013 Chevy Cruze all prepped up and ready to go. Maybe I'll paint it tomorrow while it's uh, snowing and all that since it's Sunday. Sorry about uh, the out of the frame shot there. But the first thing I'm going to do with this bumper cover, it is a primed plastic bumper cover primed with a solvent based primer. Probably a sealer of sorts. First thing I'm going to do is wipe it down with a water-based degreaser. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do these. You could do it uh, if it's raw plastic. You can scrub it with trisodium phosphate and a, a gray scotch bright. Um, this is just the way I do them, and I've had no problems doing it this way. But uh, I'll show you what I got here that we're going to use. I got this right here. This is De Beer brand water based degreaser, the Valspar product. And we're basically just going to wet a couple of towels here, or wet one and wipe with one. So we're going to get that cleaned up. Hope everybody had a good week. I've had a busy week. Uh, you guys saw the video I put up where I uh, had, had moved all that snow. So it was a cold, busy week for me. We've been daytime highs of single digits and minus temperatures at night. So it's been quite a miserable week. But we're almost out of the woods, I think. Weatherman says expect some snow in March, which is fine. As long as uh, we can get rid of these bitter cold temperatures. This degreaser is kind of strange being waterborne. It almost looks soapy when you use it. But I've never had any issues with it. It kind of, I don't know if it's what it's got in it that makes it foam it up a little bit like that. But a lot of times uh, before I paint, I'll wipe down with some glass cleaner just because I'm not quite sure on this stuff. really pretty cold. Uh, got down to 40 in the shop last week. I kept my fire going, but in an effort to let it go all night, I couldn't run it real hard. And uh, I think that, you know, it let everything get kind of cold in here. So this panel wipe is real cold. <clears throat> If you don't wipe it off real good, it'll be kind of smeary, but that's why after I'm done wiping these down and before I paint, I'll wipe it with glass cleaner because that seems to wipe a little better. Uh, this is kind of an index static wipe as well, which I suppose isn't truly necessary at the moment because we're just going to sand it. Then I'm going to show you some products I picked up. I showed in a previous video. But I uh, had ordered some other uh, items to make the system work, and I'll show you what that is in just in a moment. These bumper covers come from LKQ pre primed and in a nice package, so I don't feel there's probably any grease on them, but you never know. Somebody's hands touched it at some point. six to ten inches of snow between tonight and Monday morning. But it's going to be in the low 30s, which means heavy snow that doesn't want to roll off the snow plow. And it might sound like I'm complaining, it's just it's a harder push than the, than the drier snows are. Dryer snow is a lot easier to deal with. This bumper cover looks like it's going to be a real treat to prep because it's got lots of uh, bumps and ridges on it, most of which are covered with the grill. And I'll show you that here in a second. Let that kind of flash off, I guess. There's only a little bit of wetness left to it. So here's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> 
You have to bear with me. I'm still getting over a cold here, so I'm a little groggy. This is, of course, upside down, but that's where the bow tie goes. I'll look at it the other way. But, uh, I mean, you're going to end up painting, and paint's got to get at least over this edge and in, into these edges. It doesn't have to be perfect down in here, but you're still going to want paint to try and stick there. Same thing where the fog lights go and where the little spoiler grill goes down at the bottom. Uh, there's lots of little tabs and stuff, um, which a scotch Rite will work for. So, and the marker uh, light holes like that. I'll show you the actual grill to the car and the bumper cover. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like a little insert here that houses the fog lamp assembly. And then there's two pieces to the grill. This piece and this piece. And then uh, this little honeycomb in here. And I didn't take the fog or the side marker lamps out of it yet and all that. So at any rate, I'm just going to try and make a quick 15-20 minute video for you guys. I showed you guys these pads before. This is Super Acelix. This is the Lemon. This is a 800 grit and it cuts like about 600. It cuts pretty fast. Um, these are made by Kovacs, which is a Japanese company uh, imported by Eagle Abrasives. You can check out their website. So here's the pads, okay? And I've got one already made up over here. So you have to buy a box of the backup pads. Let's see if we can get in there. There we go. And that's nothing more than a hook and loop pad like that that this one sticks to. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to use these to scuff with. I normally use a sanding sponge, but we're going to try these because that paper cuts so nice. I'm thinking that I'm going to like using these a little bit better than like scuffy gel and stuff like that. And these bumper covers claim that you can uh, scuff them with 800 and go. So I'm going to try and do pretty much all the flat areas with this. I mean, you can see that that's already, that's already dusting up that primer real good. Uh, whereas a scuffy pad is, uh, of course, not going to do it quite as quickly. Now, they don't put a lot of primer on these covers. You don't want to get stupid with them when you're using a sandpaper type like this. Otherwise, you'll burn through it. And when these get clogged up a little bit, just tap them on your hand and they they really don't load up. Um, it's quite nice sandpaper, or abrasive, whatever you like to call it. I can tell you that they're not cheap, but if the product works, then, you know, that's kind of where I'm at with it. They load up pretty quick. They have what they call an orange pad uh, or sanding paper that's like 1500 grit. So if you're uh, putting down some base coat and you get something in it, um, those are supposed to work pretty good for it. And I think I explained before, uh, any of you guys are subscribed to Sada Jet Johnny, he uses them for that. And that's where I got the idea. So I went on the search for them about a year ago and then finally decided uh, once I saw them at my jobber, that I was going to go ahead and use them. And I'll show you how quick that scuffed that. And pretty much all of this area is scuffed real good already. So that's, uh, that's my little take on those pads. They work real nice. Um, and I'm wondering if because they have these little holes in them, if that helps keep it from loading up as, as much. But... Uh, Truthfully, they don't really load up. I was hoping to paint this today, but it's just too stinking cold. It's like 10 degrees outside, 15 degrees. And I had heat running for about an hour in here. And I was at 70, but I'm already back down to 60 with the heat off. It's just the floor got so cold in here last week. Now this 
this up and we we're talking about some 40 degree days. So hopefully I can get this shot. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll shoot it tomorrow. It's supposed to be in the mid 30s tomorrow. Where I can actually gain some heat in here. But I'll have to go in all these little fiddly areas with a scotch pad, uh, usually a gray one is what I like to use, something 6800 grit. Um, I'll probably reseal over this just because that's what I do. Do you need to? Probably not. But uh, these pads, if there's any orange peel, uh, like when you're prepping a blend panel, they knock it down fast. It's just really amazing <clears throat> how fast they cut and put a scratch into it. Um, and they're supposed to leave a really uniform scratch. Of course, you know, all expensive sandpaper claims that they can do that. But we're going to see uh, the next time I have to do a cut and buff, they have a dry sanding for, uh, you know, sanding orange peel and dirt out things like that. Of course I get both of them so we may try that out. I haven't purchased the product yet but I'm seriously considering it. There's just nothing fun about scuffing one of these. There are just so many little areas that you gotta get. But this stuff is really, it's more flexible than a sanding sponge because you can see this really isn't very thick. There's your backup pad. But it still keeps you from putting fingerprints in it. Also, they make uh, a different box here. They sent me these on accident. These were not what I ordered, but this is an interface pad to go between a hard block that they have. They sent me these, um, and that's not what I wanted. So I emailed them, they said, well, don't worry about sending them back, just we'll send you the right ones. So that's pretty cool. Box four pack of those was 20, 20 bucks or something. But other than working on this, it's about all I gotta do today, I had to, Plow the habitat restore this morning because it had snowed well, three days this week, just light snows. And it also snowed all day last Saturday while they were open. And once they get cars in that parking lot, you can't get a plow truck in there because you don't have anywhere to take the snow. It's bad. But it's good for them because it, it generates revenue and it's money they don't have to get through fundraising for building houses for people who, who really need them. It's a really good, good deal. A little dirt nib in this bad boy. So as far as using this pad, that's about it. I'm going over pretty much what I can go over. I usually go over these twice. Just to make sure I get them stuffed real good. But, uh, I just wanted to show you guys this product because I'm pretty happy with it. And what did that take? 10 minutes? 5 minutes? I've been talking for 15, so I mean that's pretty much it. So it's, I put a nice scuff into it real quick like um, unlike a scotch bright where uh, you'll still have some shiny spots in it when you do it you really gotta work a scotch bright to get it to do it and I've been using the scuffing paste but on a bumper cover like this I'd have to wash it three times after I was done and it's too cold to be washing parts out here I mean you get that goop all down in those crevices so that's the product right there so get you some of those if you don't mind spending a couple extra bucks and then here's the ones this is the interface pad for a uh, six inch disc I also have some of those so Give those a try. So, 
that's going to be it for now until it's paint time, which will probably be, I don't know, tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see how much snow we get. So hope you guys are having a good weekend and uh, stay warm. We'll catch you later.